He saw her from the bottom of the stairs. Before she saw him, she was starting down, looking back over her shoulder at some fear. She took a doubtful step and then undid it to raise herself and look again. He spoke, advancing toward her. What is it you see from up there always? Tell me, for I want to know. She turned and sank upon her skirts at that, and her face changed from terrified to dull. He said to gain time. What is it you see? You must tell me, dear. She in her place refused him any help. With the least stiffening of her neck and silence, she let him look, sure that he wouldn't see, blind creature, and a while he didn't see, but at last he murmured. What is it? What? Just that I see. You don't. Tell me what it is. The wonder is I didn't see it once. I never noticed it from here before. I must be wanted to it. That's the reason. The little graveyard where my people are. So small, the window frames the whole of it. Not so much larger than a bedroom, is it? There are three stones of slate and one of marble. Broad-shouldered little slabs there in the sunlight on the side hill. We haven't to mind those, but I understand. It is not the stones, but the child's mound. Needed. I must get out of here. I must get air. I don't know rightly whether any man can. Amy, don't go to someone else this time. Listen to me. I won't come down. He sat and fixed his chin between his fists. There's something I'd like to ask of you, dear. You don't know how to ask it. Help me, then. My words are nearly always an offense. I don't know how to speak of anything so as to please you. But I might be taught, I should suppose. I can't say I see how. A man must partly give up being a man with women folk. We could have some arrangement by which I'd bind myself to keep hands off anything special you're a mind to name. Though I don't like such things to expose those that love. Two that don't love can't live together without them, but two that do can't live together with them. Don't, don't go. Don't carry it to someone else this time. Tell me about it if it's human. Let me into your grief. I'm not unlike other folk in that your standing apart would make me out. Give me my chance. I do think, though, you overdo it a little. What was it that brought you up to think it the thing? To make your mother loss of your first child so inconsolably in the face of love? You'd think his memory would be satisfied. There you go sneering now. I'm not, I'm not. You make me so angry. I've come down to you now. What? Okay. And it's come to this. A man who can't speak of his own child who's dead. You can't because you don't know how to speak. If you had any feelings, you the dug with your own hand. How could you, his little grave? I saw you from that very window there, making the gravel leap and leap in the air. Leap up like that, like that, and land so lightly, and roll back down the mound beside the hole. And I thought, who is that man? I didn't know you. And I crept down the stairs, and up the stairs to look again. And still your spade kept lifting. And then you came in. I heard your rumbling voice out in the kitchen. 
and I don't know why, but I went near to see you with my own eyes. You could sit there with the stains on your shoes of the fresh earth from your own baby's grave and talk about your everyday concerns. You had stood the spade up against the wall outside in the entry, for I saw it. I shall laugh the worst laugh I have ever laughed. I'm cursed. God, if I'm not cursed. I can repeat the very words you were saying. Three foggy mornings and one rainy day will rot the best birch fence a man can build. Think of it. Talk like that at such a time. What had how long it takes a birch to rot? To, to do with what was in the darkened parlor, you couldn't care. The nearest friends can go with, with anyone to death. It comes so far short, they might as well not try to go at all. No, from the time when one is sick to death, one is alone, and he dies more alone. Friends make pre pretense of following to the grave. But before one is in it, their minds are turned and making the best of their way back to life. And living people and things they understand that the world is evil. I have grief, so if I can change it, oh, I won't, I won't! There. You've said all, and you feel better. You won't go now. You're crying. Close the door. The heart's gone out of it. Why keep it up? Amy, if there's someone coming down the rope. You. Oh, you think the talk is all. I must go somewhere out of this house. How can I make you? Where do you mean to go? First tell me that. I'll show you and I'll bring you back by force. I will.